All right, uh, welcome to Lamille Canyon. Um, this is the Ruby Mountain Wilderness here in Nevada. Um, this has been on the bucket list for me for a while. I did the three and a half hour drive in here today, um, filled up the gas tank, and then just found a dispersed spot to camp in tonight. And uh, I'll be going up that way of the canyon uh, in the morning, uh, meet my friend Dustin, and then uh, we're gonna go over Liberty Pass into the Liberty Lake, Farve Lake area. So pretty nice spot. Um, probably the last one available in here. There's not too much dispersed camping in this canyon and uh, most of them were already filled up that I had looked at um, on Google Earth. And uh, so I, I found one. It's not the flattest camp in the world. It's not the shadiest, but you know what? It'll be home for the night. I'll get up in the morning, take the pack, get to the trailhead and uh, we'll head in. Um, so welcome to Nevada. Okay, and uh, here's camp for the evening. Um, just brought my two-man car camp and tent. There's the Jeep. There's my table and chair. And if you look across the street from me, there's some pretty cool stuff. Um, just really awesome stuff to look at. And uh, that canyon down there goes towards Lamille and then Elko and then I-80, how I came in here. And then I'll pan you up this way. There's, there's top of the Jeep. And then that's the view up that way. Really just crazy steep mountains. And uh, this is the ridge line across from camp. And uh, the sun's gonna flare that out. Yeah, but just a really, really cool place. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, happy to be here. I'm happy I made it. And uh, it should be a good weekend of weather and fly fishing and backpacking. And uh, yeah, really can't beat it. I'm just sitting in the shade of my Jeep right now because it's like 90 something degrees outside. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, not since uh, Moab I had this hot of a camp, but that's all right. We're just uh, hang out in the, the shade and and uh, just uh, watch the shadows drag across the mountains. And, uh, you know, I don't really have a bad view um, from this seat either. And I'll flip you around so you can see that view. <laughs> All right, uh, it's uh, day two here in the Ruby Mountain Wilderness and I have met up with Dustin. I'm gonna circle around so you can see Dustin. There's Dustin. And uh, yeah, I had a great night last night at camp. Got a star trail. Um, we're about mile into the trail here, headed up to uh, Lamille and then Liberty Pass and then over to Liberty Lake. So uh, I'll check back in with you when we get a little higher on the trail. It's gorgeous in here. All right, uh, about two miles into the Mill Canyon Trail, going up to Liberty Pass. And uh, man, I'll tell you, these wildflowers behind me are just absolutely gorgeous. And the views just got substantially uh, more amazing just a few minutes ago. And uh, yeah, this is a really cool hike, cool area. Just uh, reminds me of a combination of several areas that I've been to, uh, Wind Rivers, Wasatch, especially uh, including Little Cottonwood. And uh, definitely has some glaciated stuff like the Eagle Cap Wilderness as well. So uh, really just cool. I'm happy to be here and I'm glad Dustin invited me and uh, we'll check with you soon. time in the rubies thanks to dustin inviting me up here and uh found a really nice camp here by liberty lake um 
definitely away from the crowds, which is really, really super cool. And uh, we've got this awesome view I'll take you out in a minute out the back of camp, which that's been kind of the theme for camping for me this year is camping with views. I love it. So, and uh, yeah, uh, we're here. I'll give you a tour around camp and uh, good to go. Cheers. Okay, and this is uh, my tent. And uh, Dustin's over here in his. Packs are hanging there. top of the morning to you. It's day two here at uh, Ruby Mountain Wilderness. I'm uh, here with Dustin and uh, Dustin has motivated me to get up and get my coffee going. So thanks, Dustin. <laughs> Appreciate that. And then, uh, yeah, good night's sleep last night. Um, we got a star trail today. We're going to finish up our coffee and breakfast and then we're going to go down to Farve Lake and try to uh, slay some trouts this morning. So uh, then it uh, looks like we've got some other plans for like evening and the whatnot too. And I think we might go back up to Liberty to give her one more uh, session before uh, we're done fishing that lake. So uh, yeah, uh, it's been a great trip so far. I love this place. Um, definitely warmest backpacking I've ever done, but I still like it a lot. It's great. So, and uh, yeah, so top of the morning to you. All right, we're on our way down to Farve Lake to do some fishing. This is going to be a pretty good uh, day supposed to be pretty fast action down there so I'm looking forward to this this is going to be fun Nice. That's a, got some good weight on it, I can tell. All right, Farve Lake. Well, thanks for the good time fishing. That was a lot of fun. These brookies are aggressive strikers. And uh, this lake is also just gorgeous. Amazing amount of wild onions that grow in here. Never seen a grove wild onions that big before that was pretty cool and uh also i've never seen monk's hood grow right next to a lake so that was another first too and uh being out here fishing with dustin and being able to see this place has just been a great day and headed back to camp should chat with you then all right great adventure at farve today um just been watching these little cotton balls float over the sky today and you can see the peaks behind me there. I'm um, just back at camp. Dustin's taking a nap right now. So I came out to shoot a time lapse and I'm going to head up to the lake in a little bit and uh, maybe go soak my feet and do a little fly fishing and uh, just kind of get out of camp for a little bit. So uh, yeah, uh, great day though. Um, awesome place. This place is beautiful up here. So, all right, cheers. <music>
All right, uh, yeah, Dustin went up this ridge here. I'm not exactly for sure where he went, so I just thought I'd give you this view behind me here of the rubies. You can see Farve Lake where we were down there fishing today. Big, huge, jagged, spiry peaks. Uh, had a little ingrown toenail issue that I was working on back at camp. That's why Dustin split without me, and uh, it's feeling better, which is great. I got a big hike out tomorrow, so I just wanted to make sure it was medicated, cleaned, all that good stuff. Uh, so it's not so discomfortable on the trail. So yeah, this is uh, gorgeous behind me. It's just uh, super, super pretty and just enjoying the day. It's been a wonderful day up here and uh, definitely uh, it's been a great trip and uh, should be a good night and uh, pack up and get out of here tomorrow. So we'll talk to you soon. Cheers. All right, well, uh, it's day three, and uh, we packed it up, and we're on the trail at 7 this morning. I'm standing on uh, basically the preface of uh, Liberty Pass. There's just a little short, flat area to get you over the, the hump there. Um, great weekend, good fishing, beautiful area. Just uh, absolutely gorgeous out here, and uh, thanks to Dustin for inviting me along. It was a really, really good time. Um, you know, I love this area. I definitely am going to come back. Um, want to explore a little more of it uh just a beautiful wilderness and uh you know you just be grateful for days and weekends like this when you can come out and actually enjoy this so uh hey we'll check you all on the flip side cheers All right, five miles later, we're here at the lot. Gonna head to the Jeep and get changed and make the big drive back to Salt Lake. A beautiful weekend up here, a great weekend with Dustin. New area, bucket list knocked off. Really can't complain. We'll check you on the flip side. Cheers. <laughs>